In the morning, before sunrise, we reached the top of a high pass in the mountains in the Karoo National Park. It is always wonderful to see the sun's first rays touch the waiting earth. And in this hugeness is a tiny creature hard at work, a colony of harvester ants collecting food and nesting material for the coming winter. I track the ants backwards and come to this feinbos shrub, from whence they are taking these fluffy parasol-type seeds, no doubt for nesting material, insulation against the coming cold. It is a symbiotic relationship, this one, the ants helping the shrub with seed dispersal. Dropped seeds become new growth. The other half of the colony seems to be preoccupied with a different chore. They are carrying these succulent green seeds, which will no doubt serve as food through the winter. And tracking them backwards, I find this plant. I can only wonder the nature of the collective mind which instructs half the ants to do one chore and the other half another task. Whence the choreography? Watching this trail of worker ants. More than anything, it is the singular effort that holds me in awe. One of nature's impeccable creatures in every sense, sculpted into a most remarkable form. The collective intent of the whole colony expressed in each and every individual. There you see the ant on the right sawing through the stem of the selected seed. What tenacity. And all the time battling against this fierce wind. To see this constant endeavor, this relentless doing of what must be done in order to ensure the survival of the whole. And back on the shrub, finally, the seed comes loose. And now begins the challenge of getting it to the ground and to the nest. Wind, buffeted to the other side, but still hanging on. What a battle. What a world. It is never easy. Not for any species that wishes to survive and sustain in this world of ours.